Sam, those new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28 service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, Until check the terminal for available clear. orders. Big set fragile up. He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Knot City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. Sam. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. And because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try.
There we go. Delivering cargo. Hello. Sam Bridges, right? We've been expecting you. The gauge you brought is going to save a lot of lives. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh. Wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Thank you. Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. You mind doing the honors? I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chiralium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on chiralium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the chiral network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good work. 
New order. We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam, I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go.
can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Should come in handy when you're on the road. the weather is akin to predicting the future. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger, but we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. 
and our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. We reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and now.
so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Well, I'll be. Did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. to know Fragile, would you? If you see her, pass along a message for us. Tell her, thanks for saving our hides. If she hadn't stepped up, South Nantes and our farm would have been wiped off the face of the earth. She's a hero. And you can tell her I said so. All right, the network. Think you can get us online? So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor. 
and cancel out their pulse with your own. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. <sighs> Thank you. Now to start really using Timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but... Without the ability to predict Timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The time fall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be able to expand our operation and use time fall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research, too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the time fall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further...